Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we're going to be taking an internet time machine back to when Flash games ruled the web. And we're going to be doing that by playing the helicopter game in Scrap Mechanic. So the helicopter game was one of the first and most popular Flash games ever made, and it was really simple. All you have to do is fly a helicopter through a cave without hitting the cave walls or any of the obstructions, or else you would blow up and you would have to start over again. And it was really popular because it was extremely simple. You just have to click your mouse and you would go up and you'd let go of your mouse and you would go down. So I have tried to emulate that the best I could in Scrap Mechanic. So as you can see behind us, we've got the really long cave that we're going to be flying through to my side here. We've got the helicopter as well as the seat that controls it. So I'm going to go through the build, how I designed it, and then we're going to have a whole bunch of fun with it. So let's get started. All right, guys, so when you guys get this off of the Steam Workshop, this is what you are going to be greeted with. We've got that long cave. We've got our seat right here, a whole bunch of weird looking things as well as a helicopter here in a glass box. Now, it might look all sorts of strange, but allow me to break it down for you. So I've got a whole bunch of yellow blocks all around this section of the build here, as you can see. And the reason for that is because these are blocks that are designated to be removed. So you're going to delete these blocks and then the creation becomes functional. Now these weird things over here are actually obstacles that you can place within the cave. So when you get it, it's just going to be an empty cave like so, but all you got to do guys is break a block off like so. Get your weld tool out, grab it by the bottom there. They look kind of like little trees there. And then you find a spot on the cave track to weld it down. And there you go. You now have an obstacle in the way on the cave. Now, I will mention, though, obviously, you could put these in some very compromising positions where you could put it in a choke point like this right here and make it completely impossible to go through. So... Obviously, you need to kind of balance where you place them across the cave. So, breaking these yellow blocks will remove the obstacles. Now, these ones over here are a little different. So, this one right here, this is probably my favorite thing inside here. We're going to break this one right there. And so, this right here is basically the module that controls your helicopter. So, as you can see, we have a piston that extends out with the helicopter at the end here. And in here is essentially just a box with wheels and a whole bunch of thrusters on the inside. And of course, we have this huge glass container that is keeping it within there. So that way we don't lose it. It just goes up and down as if it was like a track or something inside of it. Now back here by the seat, this is where all of our controls are. And you can see that there's actually the wireless mod right here. So these are different signals being sent out. And over on this side here inside of it, we have some more signals. And that is just so that it receives them. And then we actually get the control inputs for the helicopter. It's very simple. And we're going to see that very soon. And then back here is another one. This is the wireless one for the electric motor, which activates these wheels here, which of course will create the effect that the helicopter is moving forward. But in reality, what's happening is the entire track is moving away. Now, we've got the helicopter separated from its base there. That's ready to go. So all we have left to do now is remove a couple more. So this one right here, this one that we're removing is actually for the wheels so that the wheels can freely move across right there. And then, of course, this one here, guys, is so that we can actually delete the entire cave from the entire assembly. And then that way we'll be able to move it. Now, in order to get the full experience, obviously, we have to put all of these obstacles in. But thanks to the magic of editing, I actually have one ready to go over there. But before we do that, I want to clear this up just so we can get a better look at this helicopter. So here is the helicopter assembly all by itself. We've got the switches and the wireless controls back here. Now, we're going to do this again. We're just going to separate this one right here as well as this one. There we go. Now we've got the free floating helicopter. So all we have to do, though, is hop into the seat right here. And we've got these four buttons and switches. So number one is going to activate the main thrust as well as the cute little rotor blades and stuff on this little helicopter. And then two and three is what you're going to actually use to control going up and down. So take a look at this, guys. The helicopter is now going up and it can go down just as easily. And so basically what I ended up doing was I created a floating box on wheels inside of this glass chamber. And so the wheels just ride along the glass wall and it keeps it nice and secured inside of the box. And basically it's just like a a bit of a hovercraft because it's just kind of hovering there. Now, as you can see, naturally it is going down. But I mean, I figured 
we would probably rather want gravity working for us. So as you can see, though, we'll press 2, bring it right back up again. And there is a roof there, so you can only go so high. But, I mean, the cave is going to be in the way anyway. And then we can go right back down again. Now, one thing I do want to point out is I really like this is when you press 2 and 3 to go up and down, look at that. You can see that the helicopter is actually leaning up and down as well. Uh, so this was just stuff that I was trying to take from the Flash game and bring it into Scrap Mechanic. And as you can see down there, we have an extra lever switch, but that is actually to activate the electric motor that runs the entire cave and moves it across the helicopter. So we obviously don't have that right now, but obviously that's a good segue to getting the whole thing set up and actually playing. Alright, so here's the helicopter game loaded in with all of the obstacles ready to go there. So all we got to do though is delete these yellow blocks. So we'll get rid of these ones here. There we go. Free up the helicopter and then we will free up the cave track as well. Alright, perfect. So now everything is free floating. The wireless mod is ready to go. So we're going to hop into the seat here, turn on that helicopter. Bring it up to about, maybe uh, just about halfway, right about there, and set up our camera, and here we go, guys. I'd say this was looking pretty good, so I'm going to press the 4 switch, and here we go, guys. We now have the helicopter game in scrap mechanics. So, alright, we got to watch out for these obstructions here. Now, I will mention, guys, that uh, the real game is a lot harder than this scrap mechanic version. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely pretty challenging, but I love the simplicity of it because in that one all you have to do is press one button and it's just going up and then letting gravity take you down. Now this one I wanted to have it a little bit easier. Oh, jeez, wow. Okay, that one was pretty close. But this is definitely throwing me right back to that old school Flash game. Jeez. Alright, so we haven't really run into anything yet, and I didn't make these obstacles too difficult. I wanted to be able to show you guys actually like flying around and experiencing this as kind of like the mini game that it is. Uh, but I'll definitely uh, do a run where we are guaranteed to blow up. Now, I think we are slowly getting to the end of the track. After we do this run though, I'm going to quickly show you guys, oh yeah, there it is. I'm going to show you guys uh, how the explosion mechanism works, and then we're going to actually make it blow up. So back here behind this helicopter, there is a little piece of dynamite, and that is just to create a small little explosion that will blow up the helicopter and not the entire cave with it. So if I bring up the connection tool, you guys are actually going to see we do have a few various sensors that are invisible. Now we have these four sensors here. I figured these ones were the most important ones. So these ones will detect what is in front of you. Now if you get one block too close, to the uh, cave then obviously you're going to explode and these are set to green so that way it's only the cave that is going to cause you to blow up now we also have one right here that's pointing up and we have another one that's pointing down right here just in case you do brush along the edges of your helicopter that is also going to cause you to blow up so why don't we set this up again and then purposefully fail all right so i'm thinking for this run we're going to run straight into one of the blocks so we can make sure that the nose sensors actually work Work and blow the helicopter up and then I think we'll do a couple more just to test the lower function as well as the upper one now I don't want to fail right away here guys let's actually kind of maybe you know we're gonna get a little bit into this game here before we lose you know I don't want to make it seem like I'm actually that bad all right so here we go we're gonna go over this one and I'm calling it guys the next one is going to be too hard so here we go this is what it's like if you're just flying along and you don't pay attention anymore and there you go the helicopter has completely blown up, and would you look at that, guys? The entire track is going to keep on moving without you. Alright, so round two of testing. We're going to be seeing what it's like to drive this helicopter straight up into the cave. So here we go, guys. Let's set ourselves up right about there and start it up. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm not going to do it right away, but we are going to dodge this first obstacle right here, and then we're just going to kind of fly up into the cave after uh, maybe this one right here. I don't want to do it right underneath that. Alright, so we're going along here. No problem whatsoever. We are good to go. And next thing you know, oh my, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, jeez. And I touched the top of the cave. So that works. Now let's test the bottom sensors. Alright, so we're going to do this final explosive test, and then I want to show you guys a few different ways that you can make this creation even more harder as a helicopter game. So, let's get this thing up in the air just like so, and activate that. Okay, so now we're moving along here, and we're going to be testing the bottom sensor, just to make sure that we're going to blow up. 
And let's see here. So may, let's say maybe we're cruising along, we're playing our wonderful little helicopter flash game. Look at this, guys. We are totally pro at this game. Uh, now, unfortunately, though, I have no idea. I start panicking. And let's see, maybe if I, like, fall down onto that block there. And would you look at that? I went down to the block, and it blew us up. All right, so now I want to move on to making this a little more difficult. So one thing I was considering was we can increase the speed that we are flying, but we're actually just changing the speed that the cave moves along with you. So why don't we try that out first? We're going to actually delete our blocks like so yet again. And now right here, this is the electric motor. So why don't we just turn it up? by one more. I think one more is going to make a really big difference. Now, after we do that run, we're going to do another run where we actually change the thrusters here to make it so that gravity has even more of an effect on the helicopter. But until then, let's try this out here. We're going to get in. We're going to turn on the helicopter and get it up into the air just like so. And all right, here we go, guys. This is going to be a little bit faster, so I don't know what's going to happen. But here we go in three, two, one, activate it. Oh, jeez. The wheels had a bit of a spinning start. Okay, here we go. So now it's moving along. It seems like it is a little bit faster, but realistically, I feel like we could probably amp this up even more. But come to think of it, guys, this is definitely moving a bit faster. But you know what? This isn't hard enough. Let's go even faster. So that time we only moved the entire thing up by one notch. So I'm thinking this time, guys, we're going to go one, two, three we're going up three notches i want this to be really ridiculously fast but maybe not too fast so here we go get the helicopter up into the air and we're gonna press four in three two one here we go oh geez yeah look did you guys see that the electric motor started spinning super fast this time all right so now we have the blocks cruising along these are actually way faster aren't they i can see that we have to react that much sooner in between. Now, obviously, guys, another thing you can do to make this even more difficult is by spawning in more of those obstruction blocks and welding them to the cave. So that way, you have to have even more obstacles to avoid without crashing to get to the end. But now, I would say that this is still not too easy. So one thing I want to do next, guys, is adjust the thruster settings so that way we fall back down to the ground even quicker. So I'll be honest guys, I'm not entirely sure if this is actually going to work or not because I figured if we start messing with our thrusters, it might affect its ability to hover. So I don't know, we're going to throw down maybe all of these thrusters here down by one just like so. And we'll cover up the glass just like that. And uh, now let's see here, before we even actually start the entire thing, I'm just going to test the helicopter. Alright, so as you can see, it is no longer floating, so I'm gonna tweak it until we get to a sweet spot. Alright, so this is kind of embarrassing. I actually realized I forgot to separate the entire thing. I was wondering why isn't it working, so here we go. Now we're actually going to see. Okay, so it still doesn't quite bring it up, but I think we can tweak it. Alright guys, so I have the thrusters tweaked to the perfect settings, but I realized something when we were changing the difficulty off of the speed of this electric motor here. Now we have this motor here set up to these wheels, but I completely forgot that there's actually more of them down the line here. So what I have to do is I'm going to increase this one by maybe we'll do two on this one and I'll do the same down for each one of those and then we're gonna actually see some increased difficulty. Now I've got everything set up but I wanted to quickly show you guys what I did with these thrusters so now you can see we go up no problem whatsoever but look how much faster we drop down now so if I let go of two you can see that we actually drop right down again so we don't even need to really use the three key which is pushing us down and this makes it a little more true to the helicopter game that we know and love in the flash world so here we go guys I am all set up and ready to go. The speed is actually going to be increased as well. So here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Oh my, okay, whoa, 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 this is so much faster. Oh, geez. Okay, we, we're good, we're good. Oh, no, I don't, okay, wow. Wow, that was so much harder. So, that is going to be everything for today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations. Now, guys, you can get this on the Steam Workshop. There's going to be a link in the description. I showed you guys different ways to make it more difficult, and it gives this build that much more versatility. Now, I do think that I stayed pretty true to the helicopter game that we know and love in Flash, and I think this is just a fantastic build. So, guys, if you did enjoy the build or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. 
And if you want to see some more endless scrap mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, maybe even turning on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanic. So again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.